What is going on my friends, Ryan Williams here, back with another one, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how much income I received in dividends this month. In the month of October, I received payments from five different companies. There were actually some really good ones that paid me a dividend this month, so we are gonna run through each of those dividend payments and total it all up at the end. I'll also be giving you guys a sneak peek into which companies are gonna pay me a dividend in the month of November. That's gonna be insane, so be sure to stick around for that. And before we get rocking and rolling, if your favorite type of income is dividend income, go ahead and give this video Video, a big thumbs up. And also, if you like hearing about dividend stocks, then I'd ask you to consider subscribing to my channel as well. On this channel, we strictly talk about dividend stocks and I'm putting out videos twice a week. I upload every Wednesday and every Sunday. And most of these videos are dividend analyses and updates as well as special inside looks inside my dividend portfolio like what we are gonna be doing today. So if that's up your alley at all, then hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have each and every one of you along for the ride and have you be a part of my dividend investing journey. Anyway, thank you so much for doing that. And now, further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys, we are now inside my dividend portfolio here on the Charles Schwab app, which is the brokerage that I use to buy, sell, and hold all of my dividend stock investments here. And right now in my dividend portfolio, there are 20 different holdings. And as you guys can see at the top of the screen here, my portfolio is not doing too hot today. It looks like I'm down about $240 so far. And I'm thinking most of this is because of Starbucks right here, which is down about seven and a half percent for the day. I haven't looked into exactly why Starbucks is down so much, but that is an insane drop and I'm kind of anxious to find out what happened. But anyway, guys, that's neither here nor there. Let's jump over to the first dividend payment I received in the month of October. All right, guys, now the first payment I received this month was from Coca-Cola, which paid me a dividend of $9.48 on October 1st. And that's not too shabby. I think when reinvested, this probably got me about one-fifth of a share of Coca-Cola, somewhere in that range. And if we jump over to this screen here, guys, let's scroll down and find Coca-Cola. So as you guys can see, I currently have 22.745 shares of Coca-Cola at an average cost per share of $51.31. And it looks like my gain is sitting pretty close to 10%, um, 9.56 to be exact for a total dollar gain of $111.54. And I'll tell you guys what, I'm up right now, but with Coca-Cola, I've been flat, I've been down. I feel like I've seen it all with this stock in the last you know, 14, 15 months that I've owned this company. And it's a great one to hold, in my opinion. It has a great dividend in the 3% range, and I think they've been growing it consistently for the last 59 years, which is insane, making Coca-Cola a dividend king. All right, guys, now jumping over to the second dividend payment I received in the month of October, and that one came on October 12th from Altria Group, ticker symbol MO, and they paid me a dividend of $32.71, which when added to that Coca-Cola dividend I received, brings our total so far to $42.71 in 19 cents in the month of October. And as far as my position with Altria Group goes, I currently have just over 37 shares of this company at an average cost per share of $41.59, which brings my gain so far to 6.49%. So it's not too, too up. Now, historically, guys, my Altria Group position normally sits in the like double digit gain range. So like between 10, 12, 15% is usually the gain that I have with this company. But in the last month or so, I think they've dropped about seven and a half percent maybe even close to 8%. So this company has really come down in the last 30 days, which means if you are at all looking at getting into Altria Group, I would maybe consider it right now while it's down a little bit. You might have to run the numbers and see if it's looking affordable to you guys, but um, I personally wouldn't mind picking up some Altria Group right now, I'm not gonna lie. And for those of you who aren't too familiar with this company, this is another great dividend paying company. They are also a dividend king like Coca-Cola. Altria Group has 52 consecutive years of dividend growth, and I think their dividend yield right now technically is like in the 8% range. So it pays a really high dividend, which also has a really high five-year CAGR, five-year growth rate for the dividend. So really great dividend company. I'm happy to have it in my portfolio and I look forward to buying more in the future. All right, guys, now jumping over to the third payment I received in October. That one came from Main Street Capital Corporation, ticker symbol M-A-I-N. And on October 15th, they paid me a dividend of $6.06, .06, which brings the total this month so far to $48.25, not too shabby. And before we jump over and talk about my position with this company, I want to go and just show you guys how much these payments have grown over the month. So this month, right here, this payment, we got $6.06, .06, and this one's a monthly payer. So let's go back to September 15th and see where that payment was at. So so just last month, guys, as you can see right here, the payment I got from this same company was 18 cents less. And then let's go back 30 more days in August, 
and it looks like the payment was three cents less in September or 21 cents less than I got paid this month. So the point I'm trying to make here is these monthly payments, they just keep compounding over time. And as the months go on, the payment from this company right here, as well as the next one we're gonna talk about, Realty Income, they just keep they just keep increasing. And that is the snowball effect taking place in real time. You guys saw it right here. Each payment is more than the last, and that will continue to be the trend as time goes on, assuming this company doesn't cut their dividend. And hopefully they'll continue to grow it. I think they have a dividend growth history of like two years right now. But enough rambling, guys. Let's jump over to see how my position is looking with this company. So scrolling down, okay, I have 28.978 shares of Main Street Capital Corporation at an average cost per share of $39.20. And I'm actually surprised to see my position with this company has appreciated so much in the short time I've owned it. I'm currently up 11.5% for a total gain of just over $130. All right, guys, now moving on to payment number four. This one came from Realty Income, ticker symbol O, which is one of the top dogs of dividend stocks. Everyone loves Realty Income, except for my boy Darth Dividend. I think he's a little more partial to ADC from what it sounds like. Shout out Darth Dividend. But anyway, guys, with this dividend payment from Realty Income at $8.48, that brings our total so far in the month of October to $56.73. We're getting up there. And as far as my position with Realty Income goes, I currently have just over 36 shares at an average cost per share of $59.15. And this one is one of the best performing stocks in my portfolio right now. It is up over 22%. Stocks have been so swingy lately, guys, but this one continues to grow for me. This one has been very reliable so far, so I'm happy to own a company like this. And speaking of reliability, in addition to paying a monthly dividend, Realty Income also has a very consistently growing dividend. And I think they have a growth history of like 24 years, 24 consecutive years. So they are almost a dividend aristocrat. Give it a few more months and they'll be there. All right, guys, now the fifth and final dividend payment I received in October was from WP Carry, ticker symbol WPC, who on October 15th, paid me a dividend of $17.30, which brings our grand total for the month of October to $74.03. $74 of passive income doing nothing. That's like probably three and a half trips to In-N-Out Burger for me. That's how I quantify things. If you guys haven't been able to tell so far, I quantify things in trips to In-N-Out Burger. Every time I go to In-N-Out, between my girlfriend and I, we spend probably like 20 bucks there. I don't even want to tell you guys what I order from In-N-Out, but just know it's a substantial amount of food. And luckily I have dividend income coming in to fund this every single month if I wanted to. I don't spend my dividend income on In-N-Out Burger, guys, but it's nice to know that that option is available. All right, guys, and that wraps it up for my dividend income in the month of October. $74 is somewhere in the middle, I'd say, between my high and my low. I think my portfolio on average should be generating $100 a month in dividend income because I think my annual dividend income is getting close to about 1300 bucks. But at any rate, it is so cool to have this money coming in passively that you don't have to lift a finger for. And that is why I love dividend investing. And it's also kind of interesting to think of $74 of dividend income in a month's time as, as like a quote unquote bad month, I guess, because now it's getting to the point where this is below average. So let this serve as proof to you guys that the snowball effect is real. Okay, it's happening in real time as you guys saw throughout this video. And for those of you who have been thinking about getting into investing but have not started yet, get going guys, get going. Even if you're just slowly contributing to it, five bucks a week, 10 bucks a week, whatever you can do, start there and then grow up from there. I promise you guys, like I said, this, this compounding, this snowball effect can take place quicker than you'd imagine. I have not been doing this for that long. And the cool thing about dividend investing is that everyone can do it. This is for everyone. And I won't ramble on this any longer guys, but just know, it can happen, it's real, and it's a lot of fun. So get started. All right, enough rambling on my part. Let's move on and talk about what payments are gonna be coming in in the month of November. So as you guys can see on the screen here, we have a pretty stacked month of dividend payments for the month of November. It looks like to kick things off on November 1st, I'll get payments from Campbell Soup, Verizon and AT&T, which should be a pretty nice dividend income day. I'm very excited to share that with you guys next month, what that looks like. Um, and then later in the month, we have EPD, we have ORCC, both of which are gonna be some other great dividend payments coming in. And then we also have AbbVie, Maine, Realty Income, and Procter & Gamble all on the same day. 
a lot of those should be pretty good payments coming in. And then last but not least, we have Starbucks at the end of November, which as you guys saw earlier, Starbucks is down 7% today. So maybe if it continues that trend throughout the month of November, we'll see what happens. We could pick up a little bit more shares of Starbucks with that dividend income than maybe we normally would. And I don't know the exact number off the top of my head, but I can guarantee you guys that the month of November is going to be my highest month of dividend income all time. It's gonna be an all time high record and I'm stoked to see what that number ends up being. I think it'll probably be somewhere between $150 and $200 of dividend income, but we'll see what happens. And at this point guys, since it is our Sunday video, this is where I would normally put in a weekly dividend portfolio update, but my next video that I'll be putting out in a couple of days is going to be like a monthly portfolio update. So I'm gonna save all the updates for that next video. It's gonna go a little bit more in depth into my portfolio than maybe we usually would on these weekly updates. So be sure to check that out and see how my portfolio has been performing across the last 30 days across the last month. And also in that video, I'll cover some moves I'm gonna be making in November. So definitely check that out. And with that said, guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. So if you are still here with me at the end of this video, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch all the way through. And I'm also surprised that you have not gotten sick of me yet, but at any rate, thank you so much. And before you guys click on to the next video, leave me a comment below. What was your highest dividend payment in the month of October? And also let me know which company that came from. I would be very curious to hear what you guys have going on in your portfolios. And also, if you have not done so already, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this video. And also, I'd ask you once again to consider subscribing to my channel. If you'd like to see more dividend stock content from me, like I said, I'm putting out videos twice a week. There's a lot of good stuff coming your way and I don't want you to miss out. Anyway, I will now get out of your guys' hair. Thank you once again so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next one.